This week on Savage Wild, a small island in the middle of a Florida lake seems like an easy hunt. Guess again. Even with the advantage of dogs, this wild boar hunt is about to become an extreme adventure. Come back on the island. Get him out of the spear, hurry! Oh, no! Hold this one, hold this one. Hold this one, hold this one. Hold this one. I am Manny Puig. I have spent my whole life learning to survive like Tarzan in the most dangerous and primitive wilderness where you can be killed or eaten. I have learned the ways of giant man-eating predators, deadly sharks and reptiles, where every encounter may spell disaster in the savage wild. The sun is rising over Crescent Lake in Central Florida. Today, I am hunting for wild boar on Bear Island with God's Country Outfitters. This small island in the middle of the lake is mostly heavy jungle and swamp, crawling with game, including wild boar, turkey, and even wild goats and hunting this island will be a tremendous challenge. We load up the boat and head out for Bear Island. The dogs are already excited. We are taking dogs because tracking down wild boar on this island in the dense jungle and swamps would be a nightmare without them. It's only a 15-minute boat ride from the launch ramp to the island. The lake is flat calm, and RT opens up the throttle. Funny how the dogs always seem to understand what the plan is. Bear Island looms into view. And as we approach the dock, our crazy adventure is about to begin. This island is full of wildlife. There are leopard frogs like this all over the place. So this is another food supply for the hogs and other animals that live out here. Beautiful frog, look at that. This frog is very aquatic. They're all over the land out here, but they, they that's because it's a, they gotta be near water. It's a very aquatic frog. Well, I got my crew here. We got the dogs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to stalk one. And if we can't stalk up on him, if he smells us and runs, we're gonna put the dogs on him. You're gonna go in there, they're gonna bay him up, and you're gonna spear him. Sounds like a plan? Sounds like a plan. It I hope like, it works. <laughs> it sounds, I know one thing, it, it ain't gonna happen the way you think it's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm ready like, like this about it. There's no such thing as planning this. <laughs> no, it's this, it's this, all we, this hunting, the way I see it is, capitalize on the opportunity that you get. You know, if he runs this way, take the high ground, you gotta think fast and up and figure out how to smart a hog. Are we smarter than hogs? No, I'm not. You're <laughs> running after him with a trident. Don't question your intelligence at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Manny, let's get after it. My okay. crew's ready. All right, guys, this is serious business. All right. Well, we're in the middle of a hunt right now, but I just picked up a baby garter snake. 
nice. I better like put them down as awesome and focus on what's going on right now. I rush to rejoin RT. And we soon spot our first wild boar. This is probably a 150 pound boar. Lightning fast and very dangerous. Hey baby, he's going into the bananas. RT and I rethink our strategy. Yes. There's no telling me that he could have gone to a swamp or he could have gone down to into the other palmetto forest. It's kind of thick in here. Yeah, yeah. You, you won't be able to see him until he's on top of you. On a small island in the middle of a lake in central Florida. I am hunting wild boar with my trident spear. This is truly the savage wild. We have just sighted a wild boar. Hey, baby. He's going into the bananas. This will be a day of crashing through swamps, jungles, and forests. It is so thick in there, and there's a swamp in there, this heavy palmetto. We've been Going through there, we're not gonna be able to find them. Uh, I mean, unless we walk on top of them, we're not gonna find them. Yeah, let's uh, don't do that. Let's go get the dogs. Yeah, let's let's get the dogs and let them find them. They can smell better than we can. And then know. we'll know where he's at. At least he won't ambush us. It's bad. Right, right. The dogs are gonna let us know where he's at. If not, we're gonna get uh, clobbered in there. All right, let's go get the dogs. All right. So they just come in right through here. I seen them, the dogs come out. The hog, when we saw him, he must have got in the edge of the lake and swam, come back on the island, trying to pull a fast one on the, on the dog. Well, he's using the water to try to lose. He's trying to go in the water and lose the scent, right? Yeah, to break up the scent trail. Yes, that's high intelligence right there. All right, let's go to them. I think they're down here a little bit. Already. I am having second thoughts about this island. It is a tangled world of plants and trees of every kind, and dangerous swamps that a wild boar can hide in are everywhere. In there. There could be a gator in there. You think he might be laying up in here? No, he, he might be on the edge. Can I come with you? you want? No, but yeah. I will. This is not going to be easy. To prevent the boar from heading into the forest, Al Roberts is pushing through the palmetto, hoping to drive the boar back towards us. Well, we got we got separated from Manny and other guys. They went in after the dogs. We got in, got in a big swamp, got separated. We know the dogs went this way on this island. We haven't heard them bay yet, so what we're, what we're doing is we spun back around and we're trying to cut them off and maybe we can all meet in the middle and get this hog bait up or these hogs. We don't even know how many hogs there are. We saw one. Once it got in the thick, there's no telling how many could be in here. So hopefully we can get around them and all meet in the middle. We'll see.
while Al Roberts is crashing through the palmetto. I am slugging my way through the swamp, chasing a wild boar that has disappeared. And I run right into a group of wild goats. I am really tempted to take one with my spear. But I stay focused on what I came here for and keep moving. This island has some of the wildest swamps I have ever seen. And the dogs are having a rough time tracking the wild boar in the water. But my guide, RT, knows how to hunt these island boar. And I put my faith in his experience. We're just getting started. Manny, is this what y'all call savage and wild? Yeah, yeah, I mean, look at this uh, swamp out here. This is, this, is a, uh, this is the real swamp right here. Yeah, this is where they live. Man. Yeah, they live where nobody wants to go. Yeah. There's nothing like hunting wild boars and professional guides. If you want to get an awesome wild boar, I recommend God's Country Outfitters. And later on in the show, we're going to have the contact information so you can get your own boar hunt. I am hunting wild boar with my trident spear, making my way through the swamps and forest of a small island in central Florida. We have spotted one wild boar, but I have spent most of the afternoon chasing a shadow. So, after carefully considering our options, we are now switching to plan B. Well, come back on the island. Right now, we're gonna get ready. We're gonna get all our equipment ready. We're gonna go with a boat and take a cruise around the island and search to see if we can spot any of them. There's some big, vicious boars on this island. If we see some, we're gonna get the dogs, put the dogs on them, and see if we can have the dogs bay them up, and then I'm gonna come in and try to get a kill shot on them. We have one catch dog on the boat, but we're not gonna use them. We're just gonna use the bay dogs. Now, the bay dogs will chase them. They won't catch them. They'll let me know where he's hiding. They'll bark at him, they'll surround him, and help me find him. He's free running. It is extremely dangerous to approach a hog that is bayed. Because when he's bayed up like that, he can run anywhere, he can attack anybody. He's, you know, he's on, on a defensive. He's on the attack mode. So to me, that is one of the most dangerous situations. I gotta figure out how I can get close enough to throw my spear and get out, get out of the way. These are the trail dogs. These are the ones that bay, the thing that sense of smell, that's their thing. The catch dog doesn't smell that good. He can only catch. So normally what hunters would do, they use these guys to find them, they use the catch dog. But I'm the catch dog this time. to the, the water so if we well, see one we'll just put the dogs right on him and it'll just, save us hours of letting the dogs run around the woods and trying to find one if we yeah. see one we can get the dogs on quicker right yeah Whatever yeah oh yeah the shoreline of this island is a maze of small canals and heavy vegetation lots of places for a wild boar to hide or escape as close to the shore as possible and cruise very slowly while we watch for any sign of wild boar. The dogs are waiting for their turn to jump over the side and track down a boar, but they will have to be patient. We shut down the engines and I guide the boat through the shallows while I scan the jungle at the water's edge for any sign of movement. Suddenly, my heart is pounding up ahead, neck deep in the water. A wild boar has spotted us and is trying to remain undetected. Right now, oh, he's hiding in here. There's a hog hiding in here. I don't know how big he is. He's hiding in here. I'm waiting for backup. I'm gonna go in on him. I might be able to get a throw. I'm not even gonna throw the dogs in unless I have to. I think I got him right in here. He's hiding in the hyacinths. He's in the water hiding and he's cooling off in here.
This is a smart hog. It is slowly moving deeper into the water hyacinth that is so dense you can barely see anything in it. My eyes are straining trying to look into it. But somehow I managed to spot him. I want to make sure I hit him solidly with my trident spear. I nailed the boar in the side, and the fight is on. There is no doubt I am gonna need another spear. I got him. Hang on, hang on. Hang on, let me see a spear. But I can't let go of the trident because the boar is trying to kill me. Artie hands me another spear. I am doing everything I can to keep him away from me with the trident, but my hands are full. This wild boar is not under control. And this could get out of hand in a heartbeat. After chasing wild boar on this jungle island in central Florida, we have decided to use small boats to patrol the shoreline. And luckily, we have spotted a wild boar hiding in the swamp. As I approach closer, the boar disappears into the thick water plants, giving me the chance to hit him solidly with my trident spear. Come on, spear! Come on, spear! Get my other spear! Get my other spear! The crew doesn't understand why I can't let go of the trident. Spear, hurry! Oh, no! Yeah, hold this one, hold this one. The hog is trying to get to me and pay me back with a vengeance. This one. Finally, RT grabs a handle of the trident, allowing me to finish the boar off with a thrust to the heart. Get in front of me, get in front of me, the trident. And it's over. I have taken a wild boar on this small jungle island in the middle of this lake. This was a great hunt and a crazy adventure. Man, I couldn't see. You know, last thing I saw, I know he ran in, ran in here. I don't know if it's the same one, it might be another one. He was in this hyacinth, and I go, oh, I love the water. No, I can't see, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking between the weeds like this, and it looks like this right here. See that fuzz? It's just everywhere in here. So I'm looking and looking, and then all of a sudden, I see, I start seeing a little bit of, I think that's him, that's him, and I hit him from behind. I'd rather hit him from here. I stuck him from behind. He turned on me. He was calling back on me. Sorry, I'm yelling at you. Man, get that other spear. He <laughs> don't understand. Don't get the other spear turned. I hold, no, hold this one so I can stick another one in him. If I don't, he's going to get me with these babies here, you know? He's got nice teeth. Yeah, right? I couldn't get through these weeds, man. I don't know how he, how he was in here. This, uh, th th these animals are masters of disguise. They're highly intelligent. He knows that in here he was safe. Oh yeah. Yeah, he's not used to anybody coming in here. The thing's gonna get him in here is an alligator maybe. Yeah. You know, but he's easing his way through this stuff. And he's so slow and you can barely see where he's going. I knew it was somewhere in the air and I kept looking and looking. I just didn't want to step into him where he's gonna get me. I had to see him before he got a hold of me. So this is a very, very That's uh, a difficult situation. This is a beautiful boar too, man. Look at the, look at the color on him. He's black. And he's got the gristle. This is very uh, similar to the European boar. Yeah. This style right here. A gorgeous animal. Uh, let me. Uh, so I can show him. This is getting in there with it, Manny. Uh, no, this is a uh, what we call hand-to-hand -hand battle. I don't like it, Manny. I'm gonna leave that up to you. I, you know. I like it until I, I, I start to panic in a situation like this, especially when he, I turn him, he's trying to come at me, and I, I'm thinking, no, no, I, I had this, see, right here, and I had to push him away. I says, don't push backwards or he's going to pull out front. You got to turn him, keep going in front of him, and keep poking in front of him so you can keep backing him, backing him, backing him, or he'll get you. Man, he's a nice one. Super. Well, congratulations. I'm going to leave all this, the rest of them up to you. 
I'm done spearing with you. No, dude, I, I, I need your help, man. Don't abandon me because I don't know what's gonna happen. It never turns out the way it happened. First of all, I couldn't even tell what part of the body was hitting. I had no idea. I could see a little bit of fur, and I said, now or never, you get any closer, he's gonna turn on me. So I had to, I could barely see a little bit of piece of fur through the water right there. His head, he's got his nose, he squatted down in the water, hiding. So, Feel it off, we'll hide in the bushes. You will walk 10 feet away. He will move and let you walk on by. Well, let's get this thing in the boat if we can. And we can. I don't know if we can. Man, I'm one proud hunter today. I'm happy, happy. Look at this magnificent. Right now, I'm just gonna enjoy my trophy. This is a what I consider a gorgeous, gorgeous boar, man. See the all uh, the fur, the black, the silver tips on them? Blonde tips, I love this. This is all I could see, was a little bit of this fur, a little patch like that, that's all I could see. I knew he was there, I just couldn't get any closer to see anything better, because he's gonna take off or, or, or turn on me real quick. I was like, I had the, 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 the trident right in front of me, and that's all I could see. I mean, it basically, it's like this fuss is in there, so he blends right into this, it's got all that floating vegetation, it's like an alligator hiding in there. That's what I was like. And man, he was like, uh, when I hit him with the trident, he was like, ah, <laughs> I couldn't get over. But this is one awesome, awesome boar. I'm really happy about him. I feel like a successful hunter today.